Good morning. We're looking at example four, finding a line with more data points out of section 6.4 optimization and best fit curves. Once again, this is an example that we could do two ways, either using the trend line command that's already in Excel or using the definition. We hope to get the same answer both ways. I've taken a collection of data, which is the population of 10 states in the year 2000 and 2010. I'm going to look at it and say that I'm going to guess the slope is 1.5 and the intercept is 20,000. Those are wrong numbers, but this looks like it's a straight line. And so the first way I'm going to do it is just use the trend line command. I've plotted the data. I add a trend line. I'd like it to be a linear trend line, which is what it starts out as. I'd like to display the equation on the chart. I display the equation. I'm going to make that larger so that it's easier to read. And I see the slope is closer to 1 and the intercept is closer to 100,000. Now the second thing to do is to look at the formulas. And when I look at the formulas, I notice that we had an x value, a y value. The predicted y value is going to be m times x plus b. My error is how different the two of them are and my error squared is the square of the area. I add them up. I'm going to want this to be as small as possible. The claim is if I do that, I should get the numbers in my equation by minimizing the error. So I'm going to go to my data tab, pull up solver. Solver says I'd like F15, the sum of the squares of the error, to be as small as possible by changing B1 and B2, the slope and the intercept. I let it go, and it pops up with an answer. And notice I've got the same answer. My slope is 1.0961, 1.09606. That's just a rounding error. 98,143. It's a slight difference there. Again, the equivalent of a rounding error. That gives me the same idea between the two curves. and so that I'm getting the same line in both cases. Thank you.